so I think I figured out where we need to go. Uh, let's, um, gotta go to the... I guess we could talk to NPCs, but only people named NPCs. I don't really care for non-named NPCs, because they don't really put too much for this story. At least I don't think so. Anyways. Oh, the maid quarters? Uh, go straight ahead for a while, and you'll see a big entrance. The door to the right... Yeah, the door to the right of that is the entrance to the maid quarters. All right, then. I think this is the dining... No, this is the kitchen. Huh. Well, you're... Why, Your Highness Claudia, I see that you are most well today. May I ask what brings you to my humble kitchen? All right, well, once we close that door leading to the sewers, we finally stopped getting so many rats in our storehouse. Really? The nerve they had... Yeah, the nerve. They had to chew on the... Yeah, they had to chew on food that people put so much effort to bring in. Nasty little creatures. They bring disease and famine. Oh, man. I've been reading uh, Trapped in a Dating Sim. <laughs> I'm on Volume 2 right now. It took me about a week to read Volume 1. It's really good, guys. If you, I mean, you can watch the anime if you want to. The first two volumes of the light novel is, uh, is Season 1 on Netflix. Not Netflix, I'm sorry. Season 1 on Crunchyroll. And for the manga, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember, but I'd rather... It'd be a bit of your best interest to read the uh, light novel because so much stuff does not get explained in the anime because, well, I don't know because, but yeah, just so much stuff does not get explained in the anime. Uh, they explain a ton in the light novel, though. Anyways. Well, what is it? I'm very sorry, but I'm busy cleaning here. Well, okay. You not have to be so rude about it. This is Estelle. And Miss Claudia. Mr. Zen, too. Pardon me. It's been quite some time. Ugh, sure has. Yeah. Reminds me of when you let me your maid out uniform. Oh yeah, she's the right, right, right. She put uh she put Joshua in that in that maid outfit. Huh. Still is a maid. Yeah, it was to meet with the queen. Oh, and Joshua had to wear one too. She had uh Shaya did her magic on his face and her make with her makeup. Yeah, she was all pumped up to do it. Oh my. Well, thank you very much. Joshua, who once played the role of Princess Cecilia, so perfectly also portrayed as a maidservant. Huh, noble endeavors both. I am sure it must have been quite the beauties to behold. I regret all the more I could not attend the Duke's banquet. Hmm. Oh, right. Hey, do you know where Hilda is? I believe Mistress Hilda is in the library. As I recall, she did have something to look up. The library. Got it. Alright, yeah, that's the person that we needed to talk to. And then we gotta go meet over on the library. Alright, I actually don't remember where the library is. These are the actual quarter quarters, right? Yeah, I don't think anybody are in these rooms, but we, you know, we're just gonna make sure. Oh, well, time to start cleaning the guest rooms. Once I'm done with the guest rooms, it's off to help tidy up the library. All right, so these are just the guest rooms. Like I said, I highly doubt anybody's in here, but we're just gonna make sure that we don't do anything. I still don't know if all this is going to be, this is the library. I'm I don't, I'm still not sure if this is all gonna be one part. I did, um. I did edit most of everything that you've seen already um, and ended up getting, I think, like an hour and 15 minutes worth, but I didn't feel like it did this part justice, so I might add on to it more just because there was no real good spot to uh, end the video on. So, yeah. <sighs> Castle Blueprints, The Seven Treasures, The Full Details of the Hundred Days War. I was asked by Her Highness to compose a list of books removed by the Intelligence Division. I wonder what they were investigating a curious selection. Princess Claudia, and Miss Estelle, too. Hello, Hilda. I'm sorry if I startled you, but I just got back. Uh, hi, Hilda. Sorry it's- yeah, sorry it's been out of- wait, what? Sorry I've been out of touch. It's quite alright. I'm glad to see you all well. I understand the princess has been assisting you, Estelle. I'm very glad to see that. Yeah, I'm very glad to see you too. Have the two of you home safe? I cannot read today. When could you ever read? Shut up, huh, Hilda? Well, 
you're embarrassing Estelle, Hilda. And speaking of helping Estelle, though I've returned partially to inquire about something the guild is investigating, will we ask you a few questions? If I can be of assistance, ask me anything. I think there may be a few too many onlookers to speak here, however. Let us borrow a guest room. Alright, let's make our way over to that guest room then. Yes, I see. You're attending to yeah, you're attending to invest to the investigation of the that letter that we received then. I take it you want to know if I have any idea who the sender might be. Uh yeah, that's it exactly. We're investigating all the locations that received letters to see that if we can to see if we can ferret out some clues. Well, firstly, I thank you for your efforts. Just receiving that letter was unsettling. I'm afraid I can be a little I'm afraid I can I can be a little aid in naming suspects, however. The only thing I can say with confidence is that it's not the work of anyone in the castle. Yeah, we kinda figured that one. Who's the letter here addressed to out of curiosity? Uh, no less of a person than Her Majesty herself. I checked all the letters addressed to the Queen, so I know the contents of the letter. Believe me, if I could lay hands on the rude fool who wrote that... Uh, pardon me. I was wondering, were there any... Yeah, were there any other suspicious letters delivered to the castle recently? One's critical of royal decisions, for example. Ah, well. Hilda, please. Help us for my sake, if no one else is. We need as much information as we can in order to make a judgment. Very well. There have been several levers delivered with no indication as of, the sen as of their senders. They were not particularly critical of royal decisions per se. They were largely petitioned to reduce or annul Colonel Richard's sentence. Oh, okay. I suspect that at least some are from citizens of Grand Cell, but the rest I cannot be sure on. People want Colonel Richard freed? <laughs> no less than expected of a man who once strove to be my rival. Really? Richard? Uh, uh, am I forgetting something? I don't know popularity endures, even after his capture and shaming. The colonel was very skilled and comp- yeah, uh, blah, blah. The colonel was very skilled and competent. And everyone knows that. It isn't unusual at all to see people regret losing him. We'll personally bet on those letters not being related to our little threat. Requesting something of the royal hand is one thing. Trying to force it to do something is a whole different thing altogether. Well, still, even knowing the letters exist helps. Oh, one more thing, Hilda. I wanted to ask about something else. So asked Hilda about the Hayworths. Harold Hayworth, a trader from Crossbell. Yes, I remember him. Say what? <laughs> yeah. Is he an acquaintance of yours, Hilda? Not as such. He asked for a tour of the castle interior a few days ago. I happen to I happen to be otherwise unoccupied, so I showed him about. His wife and daughter were with him as well. Really? Hey. Alas, this provides us with little clue as to where the Hayworths may have gone. Yes, my apologies. There was something that bothered me, however. And what would that be? Their child greatly endured, yeah, greatly enjoyed the tour. However, the parents felt as though they were barely even present throughout the entire thing. They seemed even tempered and normal enough when they spoke to me. But when combined with your story, I wonder if they were under strain. Not able to pay attention after, yeah, not able to pay attention after coming to see the palace or coming to see a place as a tourist. Sounds like something was on their minds, all right. Yes, it seems likely that they were in some kind of trouble, even then. Hmm. This may give us a clue, yeah, this may give us a clue as to where they went. Thank you very much, Hilda. 
I think this gives us a... Yeah, I think this gives us some good leads. Well, I'm glad that I could help. Oh, princess? You'll be staying here in the castle tonight, I trust. And if your friends lack accommodations... Buh? I'd intended to stay here while in Granso, yes. But, you know... Well, how about it, everyone? Huh. You forget. They are expecting me... Yeah, they are expecting me to be a pest as the... Uh, pass at the embassy tonight. And I can hardly disappoint. I do appreciate the offer, however. Yeah, I've got what's basically a permanent room at the Cal at the Calvardian embassy. Thanks, but I think I've got to decline this time. I should probably ask Agat and Tita before committing to anything. We've got Ren, too. That's true. It sounds like she loves the castle. I shall keep the rooms ready in case you wish to stay. Thanks, Hilda. Thank you, Hilda. Not at all. I must return to the maid quarters. Please, let me know if you need anything else. If you'll pardon me. Okay, so we still need to meet with the queen. She should be in her chambers, right? Yes. I'd be surprised if she isn't. Let us not keep her waiting, then. Alright, so give me a quick second. Alrighty, we're back. Um, this is the throne room, right? I don't know why. Yeah, okay. See, I'm Rose. Right? It's such a relief that the Duke's staying over at the villa. After all, the Duke was always staring at people with these, yeah, with these lecherous, dirty eyes. I mean, if anything, from uh what I've seen with nobility in JRPGs or anything anime related. Yeah. That, that'll, that, that'll definitely happen. I don't even know why I'm checking these rooms, but I'm just being safe. Oops, I didn't even check. I just went in and went out. This is the bar, right? Or the lounge area? Huh. Why, your highness, Claudia. Welcome home. Uh, would you like something? I would be happy to prepare some tea. Anybody up here? Nope. I was about to say, we haven't seen Julia, but I forgot she's over at the fort. Uh, the Queen's private quarters is up here, isn't it? Because yeah. this is Claudia's room, I think. That's Claudia's room. And then... The Queen should be here. For as old as the Queen is, she has to walk a lot just to go to bed. Ah, huh. you finally arrived. Huh? Grandmother. Oh, no, this is a balcony. Huh? See? I see. Sieg was being thoughtful, wasn't he? Yes. He let me know that you were coming. Welcome home, Claudia. And Estelle. You are always welcome as long as I remain queen. Your father explained everything not long after you left to train. It pains me to know that you carry such a burden. Oh. Um. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Still, I know what I gotta do. And Chloe's been a huge help. So, I'm okay. Don't worry. Yeah, I see. Your soul has gained new steel since we last met, Estelle. Mr. Vothek and Mr. Lindheim, both of you, of course, are also welcome in my home. Let us retire to my chambers. I shall have some tea prepared. Nobles and tea, man. What is it? I don't understand. Tea's a really big thing in the um, in trapped in the dating sim, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know why. I, I I'm not even a big tea drinker myself. I mean, maybe I should maybe I should get into into tea. It's like we can't think of you as sophisticated, Bruma. Shut up. Shut up. Anyways, huh? So you've come about the letters. I wasn't aware they had been sent to the cathedral at the embassies as well. Your fears are not groundless. It is difficult to think of such lengths as a mere childish prank. Yes, Your Highness. That's why we're trying to talk to people affiliated in the case, to see if we can find some clues. Your grandmother, do you have any idea who might be responsible? Especially someone within the barrel. Hmm. Audio? What do you think? Me? As a possible hair? What do you mean possible? She, she's the only hair that she got. Other than Duke, the Duke, and he basically 
got denounced. So I think he did. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been so long. All right. Your thoughts should be. Yeah, your thoughts should. What? Your thoughts should daily. All right. Be on the forces moving within our nation. Would you share your opinion with me? Very well. <sighs> I don't believe that there is any force in the country which is truly opposed to the pact. I've heard in various places, however, that following the coup, some of our extreme right-wing citizens are feeling very concerned. Wait, they got Republicans and Democrats in, in this game? <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't know that. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did I not pay attention the first time around? Anyways, ooh, it is 80 degrees out right now. Hold up. I should open my window. I don't feel hot, but this is 80. Anyways. Their frustrations might be at the root of these letters, maybe. Hmm. Very good. My opinion is more or less the same. Sorry, but uh, I don't quite follow. Right. Alan, uh, Cur Colonel Richard, was not the only man who approved of the idea of expanding and empowering our military. In the wake of the failed coup, however, the matter is effectively untouchable. I can only imagine all who share his mindset are quite disqualified, are quite dissatisfied and worried of our safety. Okay, so you think the letters are from believers in the military control and expansion? Like the intelligence division guy is still on the run? Then that would be the short of it, yes. If that is the case, then I... And I would say I bear the responsibility for this as much as they. It was my belief that led them to take such action in the first place, after all. Grandmother? I don't know. I don't think they have the right to be all blah. All blah? Anyways. Let's threaten people and... Yeah, let's threaten people and be scary because we're sore losers. No, there are few things more precious than the freedom to express oneself, Estelle. Remember, even those who promote military empowerment and a war footing do do so out of the love for Libero and his people. I mean, she has a point because Richard pretty much said the same thing. Like everything he did, if I remember, if I'm remembering right, he did say everything he was doing was for Libero. It's just that him and um. Him and the party, being us, had a different way. Like, they were fighting for the same thing, but they just had a different way of doing it, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. If you, if anyone who knows this franchise better than me, please. <laughs> it's been a minute since... Yeah, it's been a minute since I've actually been deep into this game, and I kind of forgot some stuff during my two-month break of playing this. Anyways. They have as much right to express that idea as any of us have ours. And listening to all such opinions and choosing how to guide the country, that is the ruler's responsibility. <sighs> Though, in that case, I rather doubt they'll actually try to stop the ceremony, yes? Assuming the letters is from the, ex the expansionists, yes, that's quite possible. With Colonel Richard under arrest, they have little power which to act. The problem lies with the idea that someone else may be responsible. If that is the case, then I fear I can offer little advice or knowledge. Ah, rats. Queen Alicia, if I may broach a question. Of course, Olivier. Whatever you wish. Why are you so determined to act upon a non-aggression pact now? Your own country is still deeply confused and unsettled from the coup yeah, from the coup attempt. Most rulers would think this is a time to focus solely on one's own country, not the affairs of others. Olivier, you are talking to the Queen, you know. It's all right, Estelle. Olivier has a point. The plans and proposals for the pact, however, far predate the coup. Further delays would only harm the dignity of our nation. 
The crossbell, yeah, the crossbell issue is causing a great deal of friction again as well. And I hope this can help. Hmm? Crossbell? That's where Ren's from, isn't it? Yes. It lies due north, yeah, it lies due northeast of here. Over the Crone, yeah, over the Crone Mountains. And directly between Erebony and Calvert. Both the Republic and Empire claim it, yeah, uh, claim it should be part of their government, and some Crossbellians want total independence. It's quite a mess. Crossbell's basically a, yeah, it's basically a fishbone stuck in, uh, yeah, stuck in two throats at once. All the issues surrounding it just get called the Crossbell problem. I see. Boy, no wonder people get worked up about it then. Ah. Huh. So your aim is to pluck out the bone with this pack, then. To continue the analogy, uh, to continue the analogy, it is not a bone that can be removed in one gesture. Sadly, if I can open a way to resolve the issue, however, yes. Laying the groundwork for resolving that issue will strengthen peace across the entire region, and people will remember Libero spurred it on. Hmm. I've underestimated you even more than I previously thought. Our invasion of Libero was far more yeah, was far more of a fool's errand than I'd e than I've imagined. That much at least is painfully obvious to me now. What are you going on about? Oh, wait. Crossbow, Ren, duh. Sorry to change the subject, your majesty, but I still ask Queen Alicia about Ren's parents. My goodness. A child abandoned at the Royal Villa. I must instruct Raymond to keep a better yeah, to keep me better informed, it seems. I know it's a shot in the dark, but I don't suppose you have any idea where they might be, Your Majesty. No, I'm very sorry, but I do not, however. If they visited the castle, especially recently, Hilda would know of it. Have you spoken with her? Yeah, we did. Hilda only said that they have been behave that they were behaving strange uh, a little strangely. I see. Well, should you wish, I can contact Major McDowell and the Crossbell government. If that would help, ask whoever yeah, ask whenever you need. Oh, uh, thanks. Grandmother, thank you for all your help. We need to move on, unfortunately. But, um Don't be nervous. I know what you wish to say, I think. You'll be staying in the cow yeah, you'll be staying in the castle tonight, yes? Let us speak then, once you are no longer busy. Uh, Alright. My goodness, such royalty. I would say she's the only person on the continent with that sense of balance. Yeah. Sort of feels weird to say coming from a yeah coming from a democracy, but she is the perfect ruler. I kind of envy yeah, I kind of envy Libero, to be honest. Well, of course, she's the queen after all. Chloe, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I was just struck again by how incredible of a woman grandmother is. I really doubt I can ever live up to her. Oh. Princess, when did Her Majesty the Queen take the throne? Hmm? Oh, she's about 20 if I recall correctly. And may I ask your age? I'm 16, but what? Huh? Huh, my point. I truly doubt Her Majesty was a master politician the day she took the throne. And you were not yet even as old as she was when she first donned the, yeah, when she first donned the purple. I see little point in comparing yourself to her as she is now, wouldn't you agree? We martial artists tend to say that, yeah, tend to say that only those with the proper capacity can achieve this thing called unity within, yeah, unity of purpose. Even those with the greatest innate skill, like say, Walter, only reach their peak through the journey of a thousand steps. I think Her Majesty believes you have the capacity to get there, Princess. Just take it one step at a time. Don't worry. Olivier, Zen. Thank you, really. Good job, you two. 
always gonna be an awesome queen someday. I guess you get, yeah, I guess you get good with pep talks as you get older, huh? Hmm? Get older? How rude. I'm fresh youthful, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm a fresh youthful 25. Really? I thought he was younger than that. I honestly thought Olivier was 23. Huh. Okay, yeah, that, uh. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. Dang, so that would mean, hold up. Sorry, guys, I'm taking things into account of what I already know. Interesting, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. All right, yeah, 25 younger, yeah, 25 years younger than Zen here, even. You want to call out someone for being rude, Olivier. Wait, hold on, Zen is not 50. <laughs> He can't be 50. <laughs> anyways. Well, anyways. We've spoken to Hilda and Grandmother both. Yep, back to town then, I guess. Yes, let's be off. So, I believe this part right here was optional. I don't see anything that gives us BP for this. But, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I'll see you guys at our next stop. Oh, I didn't realize... The day had changed. Anyways, huh. Evening already. Time does fly when you're having fun. Well, the only letter victims that we have yet to visit the Libero News. Yep. Well, let's not waste any more time, eh? Let's get over there and see what's what. And by wasting time, I mean talking to these two goofballs. Evening sun dying while white clouds such a brilliant scarlet color. And me. Such a small piece in the grand scheme of things. Hey, Ricky. I, who am so insignificant, what should I do? Why don't you try running after the evening sun? Not sure how much it will comp- I know, not sure how much it will accomplish. But you might find yourself feeling better. Just from the flow of things. Alright. Alright, so we're here at the Liberal News, so let's see if Nile is here. Now then- uh, now then, the ties come around. I'm gonna call it a day. The reporters are always here late. Must be hard. I always feel a little bad for leaving before ev before them every day. Really? The Imperial Ambassador and the Royal and the Republic Ambassador. I interviewed. I interviewed both of them. They're pretty weird. If you ask me, they never talk about the important things, especially Ambassador Cranaw of the Empire. Yeah, his comments were absolutely unprintable. Dang, <laughs> he was cursing. Ugh, finally send it off to the press. I'm gonna get something delicious to eat at the cafe and rain some of my fighting spirit. Oh, Estelle. Hiya, Chief. It's been a while. Hey, what do you need today, hmm? Business with Niall? Yeah, got some questions on some guild business. Is he back from Wuhan yet? Yep, he should be up in his office. I think I saw him go up to the reference room. Oh, cool. There he is. No Dorothy, though. Oh, there he is. Hey, Niall. Hello. Who in the heck? Well, what do you know? You guys, how you doing? Good day, Niall. Uh, pardon our intrusion. Uh, it's that, yeah, it's that bard guy and, um, your highness. Uh, good day to see you, yeah. You even have Zin, the immovable of uh, Calvert, with you. Uh, you got quite the gang here, Estelle. Well, a lot of stuff happened since we last met. How's your coverage of the election of Ruan go? Dang well, that's how. We got an article done. Uh, thanks for the part that you guys played. Speaking of, what brings you here today? You got a hot scoop for your old buddy, Nile? Well, actually... We're the ones who'd like to know something. We heard the Libero News received a threatening letter. Ah, you guys are yeah, you guys are investigating that thing. I figured the military would have been taking care of that one. We're working on a request from the military, actually. So, do you know anything? Well, I just got back from the capital, so I don't know much. To be honest, I'd like to hear what you guys know, if anything. Well, that's real helpful, Niall. 
Come now, you're a newsman, a hound for a good story. Surely you must have a clue as to who our villain is. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Well, that's a bit impolite, you two. Niall, I know this is a lot to ask, but please, if you know anything at all, share it with us, please. Whoa, hey, your highness, you don't need to lower your head to me. Ah, for crying, fine, fine. Okay, so this is off the record. Which means, if you tell anybody, I will deny it. But, we ain't the only ones who got the letter. Not even close. Langston Force just got one. Then the Cathedral, the Airship Company, Hotel Rombaum. And both embassies, Grand Cell Castle, and the Herbe Villa. All got one too. There were nine letters in total. Huh? Something wrong? Niall? We heard that from the military already. What? Dang it. Ah, that was my big scoop for the day. Doesn't look like they were good yet. Yeah, doesn't look like they were going to get much out of this. Yeah, time to move on, I think. Now you wait one j yeah, now you wait just one second, Missy. You keep talking like that and Niall Burns, star reporter from the Libero News, is gonna have a name worth a pile of crap. Alright, alright. <sighs> Let me let you in on my take of this whole mess. Well, okay. You may want to be brief, Mr. Burns. Fine, listen up. Here's a short of it. My gut tells me that this is some kind of huge prank. Uh, the threats aren't real. Well, we thought that too. Sound awfully sure, though. Mind telling us why you're so convinced? Okay, trick is, I've covered terrorist threats like this before, right? But with this, there's no rela- Yeah, there's no real teeth to the threat. Threats only work and have power if they describe, or at least imply, something nasty that's about to happen, see? These letters have exactly none of that. Mr. Burns does have a point. Disaster will be visited upon you. It does not offer much in the way of a specific terror. Exactly. I've got a hunch this isn't about stopping the signing ceremony at all. This is more about getting people worked up over a threat, and then sitting back and watching the fireworks. Hmm. Okay. I see. Well, that's kind of a good point. There is some sense behind it. I'm still bothered by the fact that so many letters were sent, though. And each and every one was sent to a place involved with the ceremony. Yes. For a prank who- yeah, for a prank, whoever did this seems to know a lot about what's happening. That does seem kinda true. On the surface. Think about it. Though, all that info would be pretty easy- yeah, would be pretty easy to find with a little digging. Hey, I knew about the- I knew about those places weeks ago. Anyways. I'm gonna- yeah, anyways, I'm gonna be working on this on the assumption that it's a prank. Maybe you guys should, yeah, maybe you guys should stick your guns about it being, yeah, being a real threat. And then we can compare notes later, eh? Yeah, good idea. Thanks, Niall. That actually helped a lot. Darn right it did. Just stop by if you want to swing, if you want to swap stories. I'll be sitting around here until the pack signed. Okay. Oh, and speaking of sitting around, I don't see Dorothy anywhere. Ah, right. She's off working in, in the Bose region. I sent her to snag some photos. What? For a special... Yeah, for a special of some kind? Yeah, related to the Royal Army. You remember the old fort that the Sky Bandits were... using as a base, right? The one you guys busted? The army decided that the... Yeah, the army decided those rats had the right idea. And have claimed the... Yeah, and have claimed and repurposed it for a training facility. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. They're running airship pilot training out there now. Oh, okay, neat. So she went off to get coverage of the base then. Yep, that's the idea, yeah. I was a little worried about sending her out on her own, but gotta do it sometime. Send her out, 
on her own last time, and then she did almost die to monsters until we showed up, but yeah. In the, in the previous game. I believe it was the pre your previous game. Well, Dorothy out on her own, huh? Scary. Oh, wait, duh. Speaking of girls out on their own. No, was it this game that we found her out on her own? I don't remember, guys. It, I think it might have been last game. Because you guys remember when the, um... No, that was something completely different. No. The Voltron... Yeah, the Voltron sheep. That was this game. And I think we ran into her on her own. Last game. Nah, yeah, whatever. Huh? What's up? Estelle explained the situation of, with Ren's parents. Howard Hayworth, a trader from Crossbell. Eh, never heard of the guy. Pretty sure he's never been in our yeah never been in our class fields or our wanted column either. Figures, but hey, this is part of the job, right? If you guys are totally stuck, I'll help you out. We can put him in the classifieds if you yeah if you want. I even have a few people in Crossbell I could poke. Thanks, Nile. I know one person he's talking about. Well, actually, no, I don't even know if they know each other. If it's the woman I'm thinking of, then yeah, but I might be wrong. Because I don't actually think they interact. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you're way more reliable than I thought you'd be. I think I need to upgrade my opinion of you. <laughs> of course you do. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Was I, yeah, was I not reliable before? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Let's get back to the guild house then. Agus should be back by now. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. Thank you again, Niall. Eh, it was no big. Come by again anytime. Oh, we're back. Huh, yeah, there you are. Sorry, I know we're a bit late. Hey, where's Tita and Ren? Well, they re yeah, they returned just before you did. I believe they're enjoying the spoils of their hard-fought shopping campaign up on the second floor. Well, sounds like they had fun. Anyways, we've got a lot to report. Yes, please. I see. Not bad. Sounds like you guys learned a lot. I guess. We didn't get anything decisive, though. Agate, did you find anything? Honestly, I got Jack all. Yeah, I got Jack all. The hotel and the cathedral, the airship company. Nobody had a single friggin' clue on who could have sent the letters. The head guy of the airship company was sweating quartz. Dang. That's like passing a kidney stone, I would imagine. Because, you know, quartz are solid. And if you're sweating out solid objects... Uh, never mind. Anyways. Uh, do -do 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 -do, sweating quartz. That, uh, yeah, that a demand for the money might come in next. But, at this point... Not so much as, uh, as another peep. Dang. Doesn't really narrow things down much. How likely do you think it is the society is behind all of this? I don't think that, yeah. I don't think we can safely say that at this point. Their primary focus up till now has been experimenting with the, yeah, with those bizarre gospel ornaments they possess. And we know the gospels can create phenomena otherwise unimaginable. Those devices certainly haven't shown an ability yeah, haven't shown an ability to create threatening letters from nowhere, however. Yeah, this doesn't really seem like it matches the society's MO. Huh? I guess we wanted Zeiss just have me on edge. No, it's perfectly understandable. Regardless, I think we can safely say that we've done our part. I'll compile all your testimonies into the into a report. Could I ask you to deliver it to Colonel Sid at the Herbe Villa tomorrow? Sure. We didn't find a sender in the end, so I... Yeah, so I feel kind of bad. But I guess it's all that we can do. Oh, Herbe, right. Agate, did you find anything about Ren? I did, actually. Or actually, I... Wait, let me start over. I went to the hotel first. The kid and her folks stayed there for about two weeks. Wait, what? Really? It's been two weeks since we all saw them? Uh, uh, back in Rwanda? All right, whatever. It's been like three months for me. Anyways. 
same room the entire yeah same room the entire stay. Typical tourist stuff. And they just checked yeah they just checked out this morning. Okay. Then I went to the cathedral. All right. While they were here yeah while they were here the Haywards came to worship a bunch of times. Thing is, the priest who attended them said they felt off when they yeah when they did. Like they were distracted during a prayer or something. I would, yeah, that would match with what Miss Hilda said. Yeah. And then, at the airship company, that's where I found Zip. Wait, what? Harold, Sophia, and Ren Hayworth from, yeah, of Crossbell, right? There have been exactly zero passengers by the name and nationality coming, yeah, coming through here for at least half a year. No way, but... Huh, that is a mystery. Though perhaps they traveled by land. That could be the case, but if you guys remember... Because I remember... Um, the monsters have gotten extremely strong lately. So why would... And no one has been traveling by land. And then uh, this um, determines BP, and the correct answer is... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That can't be right. When we first met her, she was, yeah, she was talking about landing in an airstrip. Right, at Air Lytton. She says she saw a big lake on the way down. Hmm. Troubling. It's possible that they were traveling under, yeah, under assumed names. Assumed names? Why would they? They may have had some, yeah, they may have had something to hide. Or they may have been hiding from someone. Either way, they must have known something was wrong before they set out. I've contacted every guild branch in the country about Ren's parents. For the moment, all we can do is wait for information to come in. As for Ren herself, I think it would be best if she stayed in the care of the guild for now. Yeah, I'd feel terrible if she got wrapped up in something. Could you leave her with me, maybe? This mission kind of feels personal now. Huh. I was going to suggest that, actually. Thank you. The guild will pay for everyone's lodging while you're in Grand Cell, naturally. That includes Ren, so don't worry. Thanks, Elnan. Oh, wait. Speaking of staying the night, we might actually... Yeah, we might not actually need that tonight, you see? Stella and Ag... Yes, Stella told Ag about the invitation to stay at the castle. My, that is quite the invitation. Yeah, I think I'll... Yeah, and I think I'll pass. The castle's a bit too rich for my blood. I'm not really keen on staying there. Besides, it'll be easier for Elnon to, yeah, to reach one of us at the hotel if something happens. Huh, I hadn't thought about that. You might hear something about Ren's parents. I guess I should stay at the hotel too, then. Sorry, Chloe. Eh, don't worry. I'll explain the situation to Hilda. I'm sure she won't be mad. Or won't mind. Zin. Zin and I are to stay at our respective embassies. The princess shall retire to her castle naturally. So that means you two, yeah, so that means you two and the girls will be staying at the hotel then. Parting on these terms would be dressfully dull. Since we're all together this evening, shall we enjoy a nice dinner at the bar? Good idea. And you know, I'd actually like to hear you play the piano again, Olivier. It's been a while. Huh. Sweet maiden, you know just how to pluck my heartstrings. Have you come to appreciate a mature flavor at least, I wonder? <laughs> I'm going to snap those heartstrings if you keep it up. <laughs> Snapping or no, we should get going. With a group this large, it'd be hard to find seating. All right, let's gather up the kids and get on over to the bar. That evening, Estelle's group and Ren had dinner at the Sunny Bell Inn. Olivier, as if it were second nature, took to the piano after a few drinks. Ultimately, even Mueller and Niall were called to come and join. And so passed a pleasant evening in Grand Cell. Or so they thought. No, I'm just kidding. There was. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, seeing how long this part takes, this is probably going to be its own part. Okay. 
let's split here then. Chloe, be careful on your way home. It's not that far. I think I'll be fine in the capital. Uh, Miss Chloe, you live in Grand Cell? Uh, yes I do. I'll be staying at my grandmother's house. Well, if you'll pardon me. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Good night, Chloe. Wow, that was one heck of a party. Olivia even dragged poor Wheeler into it. Yeah. Well, you call yeah, you called up that reporter too, you know. Well, I figured what the heck. Rin, did you have fun? Yeah, yeah, I did. The food was good and everyone was talking about neat stuff. The piano music was really pretty too. Yeah. Olivia is really good at it. I don't have I don't have too many child voices. <laughs> I was kinda surprised. Well, he's not all yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's not all hot air when he calls himself a traveling performer, I guess. Uh, sitting in a very uncomfortable position. All right. Sure, you want to duck out already, Agate? Zen and the others are still having a lot of fun. Yeah, honestly, if I tried to keep up with Zen, I might not have a liver in the morning. Plus, I'm kind of beat from trolling the city all over today. So, I'm just gonna pack it in. Fair enough. Let's, yeah. Let's go get our hotel rooms, then. Beat this up. Oh, pardon. Are you the bracers and company that we were expecting? Forgive me, but we are unable to secure a, a four-person room for you. Would you be willing to accept a pair of a two-person room? Oh, sure. How do we want to split it? Yeah, how do we want to split them up, Agate? Yeah, I don't care too much. Set it up however you want. I want to be with Miss Estelle. You've been busy with work, so we haven't had any time to talk at all. No fair, Ren. I wanted to be with Estelle too. Then you should have said something sooner, Slowpoke. <laughs> I know. What if all three of us stay in the same room? We can share a bed. No, that's okay. I'll let you borrow a stuff for tonight then, Ren. Thank you, Tita. Um... I think I just got horse traded. Alright, then I'll be with you, kiddo. <laughs> this reminds me of when we were hiding out at your- Yeah, hiding out with your grandpa. Now that you mention it. Yeah, it does. In today's day and age, a lot of people would have something to say about that. <laughs> ah, man. But Agate's a respectable guy, so. Oh, wow. This room isn't like the one that I stayed in with Papa and Mama. There's a big building outside of the window. Oh. I didn't even get a chance to actually read that myself, but that was from the previous game. Is it still? What's wrong? Uh, nothing really. More importantly, I'm sorry, Ren. We couldn't find your papa or mama today. It's okay. Papa and mama promised they'd come get me. You don't need to search so hard. But papa and mama are very good at hide and seek. Not as good as me, of course, but still good. So I don't think you'll find them very easily. <laughs> Is that right? Well, I won't try so hard to find them. Only if you're okay with it. Yeah, it's okay. It's for the best. But never mind that right now. I have two big favors to ask of you. Oh, what's up? Uh... Alright. I can't tell you unless you promise to do them ahead of time. Yikes. Did your papa teach you to... Yeah, did your papa teach you to drive a bargain like that? Okay, sure. If it's something that I can do, I promise I will. Really? Yay! The first thing is... Can I call you Estelle from now on? Huh? Call me... Oh, you mean drop the miss part? Yeah. Tita gets to call you Estelle all the time. So, I don't want to have to call you Miss Estelle. Huh, is that right? Alright, I don't mind. I never stood that... Blah. 
I never stood that much on formality anyways. And it's not like I'm your teacher or anything. So you really don't mind? Still. Still. Huh, I love it. I'm glad that you like it. Call me Estelle as much as you want, Ren. Okay, Estelle. That makes me happy. Well, that's good. So what's the other thing, Ren? Oh, yeah, well... Can you tell me why you were so surprised when we came to this room? Or came in the room? Huh? You had a really sad, lonely look on your face. She picked up on it. I heard that kids can really... I heard that kids can pick up on... on, on um, you pick up on things pretty quickly, but I don't know. No, I guess that's true, because when I was a kid, I was pretty perspective. Per, perce, perceptive? I said perspective. Perceptive on some things as well. Things that I had no business, like, knowing at the time, but I, I definitely picked up on stuff with the adults around my life. So, yeah. I want to know why. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. See, I actually stayed in this very room before with someone else. Stepping in here just reminded me of him. Really? Was it your lover? <laughs> Was this your love? That's terrible. <laughs> What's she know about that, yo? She's like eight years old. Or she told I don't remember her age. No, not quite. He's someone that I've known for a really long time. And we've gotten very close, but it's complicated. We're not together right now, though. Oh. Well, what kind of man is he, huh? What's his name? What does he look like? Hmm. Questions? Yeah. Questions. His name is Joshua. He has black hair, amber eyes, and he's pretty handsome, I guess. Actually, you'd really call him more beautiful than handsome, really. Huh? Beautiful? Yeah, let's just say he made a really... Yeah, he made a great princess in a certain play. In fact, it looked more amazing on him. Well, huh. that sounds fun. Can I meet him? When are you seeing him again, huh? I... Don't really know, actually. Oh. You don't know when you'll see him again. And that's why you look sad, right? Sort of. But I'm okay. I'm gonna find him and drag him back home. Even if it takes years. But why do you seem so sad? Well... Because I'm sure Joshua's off somewhere in way over his head. And I can't do anything to help him. That makes me sad, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Ren. This must be pretty boring since you don't know who jo yeah, since you don't know Joshua at all. No way, it's neat. Joshua was really yeah, was a yeah, Joshua was a really wonderful person, huh? Wonderful. Actually, right now, I think he's a bit of a jerk. I mean, talk about selfish ways of saying goodbye and taking my first first what uh, nothing at all i mean does that count though because he he slipped her a drug right <laughs> if i remember correctly he slipped her a drug well yeah anyways okay yep yeah. and that sounded bad out of context if you didn't watch the first one um joshua and estelle at the end of the first game they shared a kiss but he slipped something into her mouth and drugged her and then she passed out and then he left after that. So yeah. He only did that so he, she wouldn't follow him, but yeah. If I, that is what happened, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's happened. Okay, yep. I'm all tired. Time to go to sleep. Hey, no fair. I'm not gonna sleep until I hear the whole thing. Oh, I messed up this one. And after that, Estelle and Red went to bed, but remained awake for a while. Yeah, awake for a little while, talking about various things. Eventually, she could hear nothing but Ren's slow, peaceful breathing. Estelle gave in to exhaustion, which had been piling up in her eyelids and fell into a sleep herself. The abandoned mind. <laughs> oh, right <there. laughs> Bingo. Bingo indeed. It looks like we found this their trail. 
So they're using the yeah they're using the revenue mine. Hmm? Is that what you pronounce that revenue? Re I don't know how to pronounce that. Just what I expect from Richard's men. This is an excellent hiding place. This is where those sky bandit yeah this is where those sky bandits kept that ship they hijacked right? That's right. Estelle and I yeah Estelle and I fought the bandits in a large but in a large exposed central hollow area somewhat further ahead. A nice big old open space, huh? I bet our guys are in the same spot. So what do you think? Going for the heroic charge now, or... Well, we've no time to contact the army. But no heroics right away. First, yeah, blah. First, we need to sneak in and see just how large the force that they have. Come on. Right behind you. This is where the Sky Bandits uh, thing was at. What is that thing? No. Where are they? Yeah, they were here and then. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were here and then they left to the play, other place. Because I believe this is where we fought. Um, where we fought all three siblings for, um, for the first time at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's odd. This is where they've been hiding as we thought. But. I don't see any trace of anyone. Yeah, we totally tracked them here. So, where did all the intelligence weirdos go? Intelligence division. Did they notice us? I didn't think we... Well, let's have a look around anyways. No good. This place is an empty shell. Do you see anything, Shara? I'm drawing a blank. They were here, but it's impossible to tell if they're just out. Or if they abandoned their base. I mean, they left the fire going. But then again, that could be used as a way to be like, Oh yeah, we're coming back, but they're not. Because they did notice. I don't know. Anyways. I don't even see any clues as to where they might have gone. Um, about that. I didn't find any... Bleh, I didn't find any mention of where they were going. But I did find this over in that tent. Really? Mind if I take a look? Hmm. These are blueprints of some sort. Looks like it's... For something named... Orgyle? Unless I'm totally illiterate. These are plans for a vehicle of some sort. Uh, or Gaia. That sounds cool. What is it? Some kind of airship? Well, I'm not exactly an engineer, but I don't think so. Those look like... Hmm? What's wrong? There's a note between the pages. I've sent out the invitations. I've got the table and chairs ready. Everything's ready for the tea party. Now, all I need is to bake yeah, is to bake some crumpets and wait for the guests to arrive. Huh? A tea party? That's really cute. It's like something out of a storybook. Yes, which must mean it's a cipher of some sort. What do they mean by tea party, I wonder? Oh, watch out! Huh? Dang, got blasted. They squeeze it? It's intelligence efficient. No, wait. How'd they sneak up on us? Goodness. And that was a fair bit of sneaking, friends. I take it that's another trick that our good friend Lawrence taught you. Not the intelligence division, I'm sorry. It's our boy Lawyer! I didn't even see the guy in the upper right. Um, Shara? I know. Something here isn't right, though. Alright. We'll faint to one side, break one corner of the triangle, and clean up the rest. Can you do it? Just say when. Alright, go! Right! Wait, are we fighting? I'm confused, are we fighting? Am I using them to fight? Or are they fighting on their own? Hold on, wait a minute! 
Legit, no one told me that there was going to be a boss fight here. <laughs> no one said anything about there being a boss fight. We'll just use Ariel for right now. Sadist whip. <laughs> Someone's been naughty. Just gonna zoom in on the on the cleavage. Get bodied, fam. Oh, you're next, bro. I didn't need to do this, but hey. Miss. I'm kidding. <laughs> That would have been crazy. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. Level 55? Sherry, you're weaker than Estelle! That was... We may... Yeah, we may have defeated them. But something is terribly wrong here. Do you think that... Yeah, do you think they were on drugs or something? I remember hearing they used something like that to control some thugs in Ruan, I think. Yes. This was one of the yeah, this was one of those cases Estelle saw. But this wasn't like yeah, but this wasn't like what she described. This was like trying to whip a tree. Huh. What great fun. You two aren't half bad, are you? What a treat. You hmm. <laughs> I am Enforcer Number Zero, Campanella the Fool. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I was looking at Comp I was looking at uh, Campanella's uh, character design real quick, trying to figure out some differences of something. But anyways, I am but one hand of the Society of Ouroboros. Uh, Aura finally decided to step out of the shadows, have we? What exactly are you plotting here, boy? Where have the former intelligence men gone? Answer me. Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm a little more than the observer this time. You're asking the wrong person if you want details about the plan. In fact, I barely know them myself. An observer? Anyways. If you want me to attend the tea party, you better hurry. Or if you want to attend the tea party, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite sure where it's being held, but it isn't here. Or shall we share some coffee instead and enjoy the dawn together? Um, kid, you look pretty young. Are you really part of the society? I don't mean to be insulting or anything. But you might want to get away from them. They're bad people. You really are kind, miss. But you know, it's okay to laugh at a fool. And that's what he's for. But worrying about the fool? Now that's quite rude. Huh? What? How? Oh, but they were unconscious. Huh, you bracers really are naive. If you really want to defeat someone, you have to break them into pieces like so. Dang! <laughs> it just incinerated them. What? What have you... That's... How could you? Huh, did I surprise you? It's okay to break even well a well-made toy, isn't it? But I'm afraid that's the end of the fool's show for tonight. Farewell. Hopefully, I can give you an encore someday. Wait, get back. Got the whip a child? She's like, I'm gonna give you this belt buckle side first. <laughs> Anyways. Sh Shara, um, I... I know, honey. At least it was a quick death. 
I hope they didn't feel anything. We still can't simply leave them like this, though. It'd be barbaric. Even more so than what just happened. Annalise? Gotta find some sheets, alright? I'll handle the rest. Right. What? What? On? Um, Shara? I think this arm is fake. But that... springs, and what looks like quartz fragments. I can hardly believe it. Just as... Just these are... Hmm. Archaisms. Horrible mechanisms capable of independent actions. It's our boy Kevin? Father Kevin, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, she remembered me. Well, that's... Yeah, blah. There's hope for my love life yet. Ah, but since the little lady he yeah, since the little lady there doesn't know me, I'm Kevin Graham, of the Septian Church. Anyways, you're Sherazard Harvey, if I remember right. And with you and with you is Annalise Elfied, right? I don't suppose you'd be up for swapping some stories, would you? Boy, this is a long cutscene speed this up. Oh, they would this this cutscene would have been so long. Ah! <laughs> Kyle, you're up! <laughs> Here I come. Bang, 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 bang. Josette! Josette, that was her name. Okay. I almost called her Jeanette earlier. But I chose not to because I couldn't think Joshua! Bro, why couldn't you do that from the get-go? This man remembered, he, uh, he, this man forgot he was strong because I brainwashed him. <laughs> yeah. Impressive as always, Joshua. You three were impressive too. We defeated them in a single sweep, uh, thanks to your combo attack. Cut it out, fighter will get you nowhere. This is like the 10th group, isn't it? How many more do we need to hunt down? This should be enough. The Royal Army should move soon, so it would probably be best for us to disappear. Right. Still, just what is the society trying to do? Why use these dolls dressed in as Richard's goons? Interesting wording that he used there, guys. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, that's a real question, though. Or where are the rest of the intelligence men? Well, they've probably gone to the tea party and then, no. The dolls are likely to distract the enemy from that and make them think Richard's men are still active here. Makes sense, I guess. Wish we knew what the heck was the tea party, or where the tea party was. Well, we don't, yeah, we don't have that much of a reason to help, but... Sure you don't want to crash this tea party? Bracia should be investigating uh, that camp by now. We can leave it to yeah, we can leave it to the army and the guild. Yeah, we left them a note and plans. That'll be more than enough. So we're taking care of all these freaking puppet things while the guild's busy. We can just leave the rest of that airhead in her group, right? Uh, sorry. Didn't mean to, yeah, didn't mean to pick on an old wound or anything. Nah, he didn't. They have nothing to do with me anymore. Once the tea party begins, the army will be focused on that. We can move once that happens. Right then. Time to get busy. It's only one ten, one ten in the afternoon. I get off work at 11 p.m. Guys, or 11 a.m. now, so, yeah. The next day, Estelle went to the Herba Villa to give Sid the report on the letters. Bro. When, 
This was just one long cutscene. <laughs> With a battle that I was not prepared for. But <laughs> those freaking two. Chasing each other. I see. This report is very thorough. Thank you very much. You investigated this quite well. I guess. I'm still kind of miffed that we couldn't find who sent the letters, to be honest. This is more than enough information for the initial investigation. I doubted we'd uncover the party responsible for the threats at this stage anyways. If anything, we... Yeah, if anything, this gave me exactly what I needed. Information to consider what we might need to defend against. Good to hear. So, what's been happening with you army guys since then? We finished our initial deployment yesterday. We'll be using the villa as a patrol headquarters until the signing ceremony is concluded. So that's why, yeah, so that's why there were so many soldiers out and about. And I'm guessing that's why there, yeah, that's why there were, like, no monsters on board either? No monsters on, on the road. I said on board. I can't read. We conducted an extensive monster humping mo monster monster hunting sweep this morning. We'll be performing them periodically until the ceremony ends. Oh, too bad you can't do that more often. <laughs> well, you have something. Yeah, you have something of a point. Speaking of yeah, speaking of civilian concerns about the girl's parents. The ones you mentioned yesterday. I haven't heard any reports that they've gone through any of the regional gate posts. Nuts. Nothing to do. Yeah, nothing to do but wait, I guess. We'll let the guild know. Yeah, we'll let the guild know the instant we hear anything. For the moment. You've done. Yeah, for the moment. You've done fine work with the investigation. I'll have your payment. Yeah, I'll have your payment wired to the guild ASAP. Thanks, Colonel Sid. But. Uh, what should we do now? You want us to help out the patrols in the capital once we get back? Well, if you plan on... Yeah, well, if you plan on staying in Grand So, I wouldn't turn away the help. I do know you're very busy with other matters, however. I won't insist on you staying. Well, we still have Ren's yeah, we still have Ren's situation to deal with, so we'll talk to Elnon about it when we get back. Sounds like a plan, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ah, Belt, what's wrong? Uh, don't worry, these people can be trusted. Very well, sir. We received the phone transmission from the headquarters at the Lang at Langston, sir. Remnants of the intelligence intelligence division have been sighted in Bo's region. What? No way. Details, man. Explain. <laughs> they were first sighted by... Yeah, they were first sighted by some bracers. I'm afraid we don't have all the details on the confrontation yet. However, General Bright has ordered all army stations to stand by at level 2 alert. I see. Thank you, Mr. Bell. I suspect we're going to be fairly busy soon. Yeah, no kidding. Still, back to the guild. On the double. Right. Colonel Sid, good luck with your patrols and stuff. Stay safe, friends. Alright. Um, so the plan is we're going to go back to the guild. So I can uh, see if I need to yeah, get to the guild at least and see what requests that we have. And if we have a monster request, at least I'll have a way to uh, train or not train, but uh, grind if I need to. Estelle. Estelle, Agate, are you done? That was kind of quick, wasn't it? Didn't I tell you? We just needed to turn in a report. You could have waited in that the guild house. Aw, huh? that means... I just want to... Yeah, I just want to stay with you, Estelle. Tita, say something to her. Me? Well, I do want to stay with Estelle all the time, but... 
he has work to do, so I don't want to be selfish. Hm, fine then. In that case, I'll just have to run off with the stuff myself. You don't get to play, Tita. <laughs> Aww, Ren, you're so mean. <laughs> I love Tita and Estelle. Too. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I love Tita and Ren together. They're they're they're, they're really fun. Uh, come on, you two, don't fight. Tita, you're the older girl here, so let it slide, okay? But but you two seem really close all of a sudden. I'm not annoying, am I? Oh, come on. Not like I could ever stop loving you. Well, Tita. You keep making that sad, lonely face, and I'll just have to hug you all up. Huh? Stop, Estelle. Hey, Tita. Pity hugs are cheating. <laughs> For the love of... Uh, I'm not even going to try to keep up with this anymore. If you kids are done, how about we head back to the guild house? Oh, yeah. We should. Huh? Did something happen? Yeah. Some of the old intelligence goons showed up in bows. That's awful! Yeah, but we're still a bit fuzzy on the details. Elna can hopefully tell us more. We really need to hurry back then. Huh? This isn't fair! You guys don't know... Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about at all. Sorry, Ren. Basically, some serious stuff just came up, so we need to get back to the guild house. Oh! Well, that was easy. Too bad. It'd be fun to play hide and seek with all the yeah with all these soldiers. We could use the whole forest as our hiding place. That'd be fun, right? Well, that might be fun, yeah. Let's not and say we did. Okay, you guys ready to go? Alrighty. Wow, we got more cutscenes. This is crazy. Hey, isn't that? Is the Duke? What is the meaning of this? Do you deliberately besmirch me, Dunn von Alsit? I don't, still don't know how to pronounce that. Right, yeah, rightful heir to the throne? No, your grace, not at all. In fact, this morning we put up a plan in motion to slay any monsters alongside the road to Grand Cell. You'll be completely safe with the allotted escort. That is not the point. An honor guard of, me of a mere three men is hopefully unacceptable. For a man of my stature of importance, I demand at least a full squadron. Ten men, go. But your grace. Your grace. Please do not demand such a, uh, much of them. The royal highness has finally... Yeah, the royal... Uh, the royal highness has finally given leave for us to return. Please, we should consider ourselves lucky to... Have reached such kindness itself. Silence, Philip. This punishment was the height of injustice to begin with. Given the outrageous grievance levied, ag levied against me, I should dem yeah I should demand nothing less than the whole royal guard to meet me. Well, we may not be the royal guard, but we can go with you if you like. You, it's Estelle. Haven't changed a bit, have you, Duke old buddy? It's not very dukely to railroad everyone with yeah, with your selfishness. Very you yeah, very you, but not very dukely. How dare you call me buddy? You you impertinent nobody? Why are you even here? The villa was to be closed off to the common rabble. Yeah, you see, we actually had work to do here. All right, so going for a walk, old buddy. More than a mere stroll, girl. Prepare to be shocked. Alicia had... Dang, he called his grandmother by her first name. That's crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't dare call my grandmother by her first name. Anyways. Alicia has come to her senses and realized... For, and, uh, and, re, uh, and released me from my... Yeah, from the unjust punishment... Which bound me here? The unjust punishment? Wait, they're actually letting you out of, uh, uh, out of house arrest? Indeed. Word arrived for, uh, yeah, from Her Royal Highness this morning. 
She instructed us to de she instructed us to depart from the villa and return to Grand Cell Castle. Oh, brother. The queen's way too nice. Uh Well, good for you, I guess. Well, try to keep a clear head so you don't get played a second time, okay? What? And you know, don't you think you should examine your lifestyle a bit? You're kind of a slacker, buddy. Maybe you could start with a bit of exercise. Yeah, that's a that's going like a little too far, but I get it. What is it? I say something weird? No, it's exactly as you say, Mrs. Estelle. If his grace had only better he only had a better hold on his life, he would not have been so easily manipulated by Colonel Richard. Allow me to echo your suggestion. Ugh. Enough of your lectures. Enough of this. I shall not remain here a second longer amongst such riffraff. We depart for the capital. Uh, your grace? Uh, were you going about not having enough men? No. Come, let's go, men. Mrs. Stell, it may be an old refrain by now, but thank you. I am not sure how to express my gratitude. Oh, well, don't worry about it. But... I don't know. I think you really need to drop the hammer a bit more, Philip. I think he... Yeah, I think he's that way. He's, ugh, I think he's the way that he is because no one's ever really even scolded him, you know? Ah, yes. I don't really think that's... I don't really think that he's rotten deep, deep down. So, I think he can still change. But don't you think he needs a hand? Mrs. Estelle, your words ring so true. It's crazy because this isn't the Stell that we've known like from the first game. Stell was a little bit more impulsive, I guess, if that's the way to, if that's the right way to describe it. And not gonna lie, she was kind of an airhead too. But I don't know. Or she just had, she just didn't have her mind on the important things. I guess I don't know. At least at the beginning of the first game, she didn't. Uh, Philip, why are you dwaddle? Uh, why are you dwaddling with peasants? If you keep loitering, we'll depart without you. Uh, uh, yes, your grace. I shall be but a moment. If you'll excuse me. This is a very long part, guys. You know, I think we probably should have gone with them, but... Nah, man. You really are something. Huh? Estelle, you're incredible. Um, Estelle, I kind of noticed when we first met... You're kind of, um, too nice, aren't you? Too nice, huh? Well, if you don't get it, don't sweat it. Let's get back to the capital, huh? Alright, yes. Let's try to get back to the capital. Alright, we're back at the guild. And, yeah, they weren't kidding. They actually did kill all the monsters. There was not one monster on the way back. We're back. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. You delivered the report, I take it. Yep, no problem. We just received the... Yeah, we just received the mission fee from the army a moment ago. Here, let me give you your reward. Alright, we should have gotten 3 BP. Yep, 3 BP. Racer E-Class Plus. Alright. Yeah, for Colonel... Yeah, for, for Colonel Sid, he... Does some fast work. Anyways, more importantly, I heard some of the old intelligence guys were seen near Bose. Ah, so the villa was contacted as well. I thought that might be the case. We were just talking about that, as so it happened. It sounded like some of the guild members found them. Yes, it was Sherazard and Annalise. What? They discover, yeah, they discovered a base the intelligence division's fugitives had been using in the abandoned mine near Ravenel. Unfortunately, yeah, that's, yeah, wow, they're pretty much on the other side of the country from us. At least if I remember correctly. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, the, Bose, the, the base itself had already been abandoned as well by the time that they found it. That's where we fought those bandits. <laughs> they didn't think that we would look there. You said their base was abandoned. Any idea? Yeah, any idea where they had? Yeah. 
any idea where they went after that. Actually, former intelligence special force yeah, special forces men have been seen all over the ba yeah, seen all over the Bose region. The border garrison is currently investigating the situation. Oh man. Should we pack it up and head over to Bose for it to help? No, there's a chance this is simply a distraction. Until we get a request for help from the Bose branch directly, I would prefer not to act so rashly. There's another reason for caution as well. It seems the society has had a hand in this. What? Ah, heck. Cherizard and Annalise encountered one of the, yeah, encountered one of their agents in the abandoned mine. Another enforcer, Campanella the Fool. Son of a, another one, huh? They also found several strange things in the ruins of the bay. Firstly, they discovered plans of something called an orgile, which seems to be which seems to be some form of orbital driven vehicle. They also found a memo, written in cipher, discussing the tea parties of some sort. Orgile, tea party. Well, that explains everything. That leaves us with no question. No siree. What do you mean by orbital driven vehicle? What is that? I'm more concerned about what a tea party could refer to. And then she just leaves. <laughs> Hard to sit on our butts after hearing all that. Come on, cool your heads, guys. The army of our guild yeah, the, ar the army and our guildmates are working hard over there. I'm sure they'll keep things under control. We'll hear about it soon enough. Exactly. I know it may make you nervous, but please remain in Granso for the time being. For now, you may do as you please. Alright, I'm sure Olivier will appreciate- Wait, where did Olivier go? Huh, yes. Their Borneian embassy called a little while ago. And Olivier- it, oh yeah, it was Olivier. He said that he had a small piece of business to attend to and left. He did say that he would return quickly. Huh? I wonder what that's all about. Wait, speaking of missing... Where did Ren go? What? Huh? Uh... She was right here just a minute ago. Crap. Do you think she got bored with all the talking and went out to play? Well, talk was kind of getting heavy. I know what I'd book it if I was a kid. Well, this isn't good. Darn it, we need to do something about her if we're going to leave Grand Cell. I'm going to go look for her. I'll come too. I think I might know where Ren went. Thanks, Tita. Sorry, Elnon. Eh, not at all. Well, you're out. I'll get the other branches up to speed and see if we yeah, see if I can learn anything new. Form a party. Um we Chloe. I think yeah, we'll take Chloe because we don't have a healer. Now then. Where would I hide if I was a silly little girl? Tita, any ideas? Um, well, we went by a lot of places in the Eastern Block yesterday. Maybe there's one of the, maybe, yeah, maybe she's at one of those places. Um, which places? Um, let's see. First, we looked around the department store, and then we went to the History Museum, and then we stopped by the ice cream stand near the clock tower. Wow, you two were busy. Sounds like you had a lot of fun, though, uh, though Tita. Hmm. Let's begin by checking around those places, then. Yeah. Well, let's drag our little straight back. All right, with that, I think we're going to end uh, end this video. Let me make sure. Do we have any requests? We do. Grand Sale Sewer Monster number two. All right. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Side quest. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll probably, um, we'll do that for the next part, hopefully. But I'm most likely going to uh, try to do some grinding. I don't think I need to. I need to figure out where the sewer 2 is, or sewer monster 2 is. Um, and hopefully there's some stronger monsters in there for me to grind. 
Uh, let me see. Where were... Let me see. Where's everyone's level? 59, 59... 58... 58. So, yeah, guys. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys next time. This was an hour and a half long recording session. Dang! Alright. Deuces, everyone.